Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing what I refer to as phase one of rearranging my fish room and that's going to involve getting some fish out, setting up my 20 gallon long tank rack. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Also, stay to the end and I can tell you how I got a sweet deal on a 120 gallon brand new aquarium kit. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is where I'm looking at setting it up. We are in my laundry room. You can hear the washing machine going now. Got a nice little corner right here. And uh, with the washer and dryer, it stays pretty warm. So I may not have to worry about heat, depending on what I put in it, obviously. But this is all just junk. DVDs that, you know, 20 years old random computer parts, my tents, all this stuff can go out in the garage. So yeah, I'm going to work on getting this cleared out. Alright, got it all cleaned out. Almost a perfect fit. And... Uh... Still don't know what I'm going to put in here. Well, obviously 320 gallon longs, but as far as fish... Uh... Not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'll worry about that after I get the tanks on here. So stay tuned. Alright, we got tanks in. It's actually pretty sturdy. Shouldn't have to shim it at all. I may have to just kind of bracket it to a stud on the, on the back just to make sure. It's definitely not tipping over, but, you know, it could be an earthquake. Well, there will be eventually, so... And what I've decided on so far, this middle one's going to be planted, this top one's going to be my zebra plecos, keep them eye level so I can see them, and this one might be my galaxy plecos or and butterfly pleco tank. So that's what I'm thinking right now, just so I can get all of those tanks off that uh, workbench in the room and get it moved out and make it a lot easier and I need to start thinking about moving t uh, moving fish out of there so when I do, do redo the room it'll be a little easier so I'm gonna get the tops on I'm gonna find some substrate I'm not sure what I have laying around in the garage but I should be able to find something and then I'll check back in okay so on the bottom here I just went with my standard lapis luster sand which I'm sure you've all seen in my videos before hopefully this one here I went with aqua soil these I'm gonna put my yellow shrimp that I got from LR Brett's Aquatics those are gonna go in here and then I haven't done anything up here yet that'll be probably tomorrow I need to go go down and I need to pick up a power strip to mount on this guy here so I'm kind of at a standstill because I can't put anything in here yet so yeah I will check back in with you guys tomorrow all right so here we are it's the next day I stopped at Home Depot to try to get my power strip but they wanted basically twice what Amazon charges so I just hooked up a standard surge protector and ordered my power strip on Amazon however progress can't wait so I got the top tank filled. Um, I used the substrate out of the 20 long that my zebra plecos were already in, so the water's kind of cloudy. But uh, they probably already ran and hid. There's one. And I don't think we're going to be able to see it. Oh, you can kind of see him back there. Just posted a nice picture of them on Instagram, so if you really want to check them out, go on my Instagram, just Steamfought Aquatics, same as my YouTube channel. And then I just threw on a hang on back filter to help clear that water up. And one of the many, many reasons why I hate marine land, you can hear how loud it is. So next, I'll probably work on this one down here and get my galaxy plecos and my 
butterfly plecos in there. All right, so it's been a little bit of time now, and as you can see, the water is nice and cleared up. And I'm not sure if we're gonna see them. Oh, I probably just scared them. Oh, no, they're under there, there they are. Barely, barely see them. Hanging out in there. Probably scattered through all our tubes here. So this one's pretty much up and done. Next, I'm not gonna get this one up in this video, but next I'm gonna be working on this one down here on the floor. So, uh, yeah, gonna start pumping in some water. You can hear it running in the background. Okay, here is where we're gonna end this project for the day. Got the galaxy plecos down here. The leopard frog pleco is down here somewhere. This is half the water out of their old tank, 50% new water. Obviously you're gonna have to work on the flow here a little bit. Um, This one will be tomorrow's project. And obviously this one is done because I've already showed it to you. I'm not worrying about any cable management until I get my new power strip in. Even the airlines, I'm just leaving all loosey-goosey like that. Get out in my garage and show you my new aquarium. That was my roundabout Christmas gift. I don't know why I'm showing an empty tank, but uh, yeah, let's go check it out. It's in the garage, it's dark out. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it, but I'll at least be able to tell you the story. So here's the new tank. It's really dark out, I apologize, but even if it was light, you wouldn't really see much anyways. It's just a five foot, 120 gallon tank and stand combo. And what I want you to look at is this marked right here. If I can focus on that. It's not very big, but this is the 120 gallon Marine Land Ensemble. Has the lights, the glass tops, the stand, all package deal. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you how I got this. Okay, so here's the story I'm going to finish this video off with. And uh, it's how I ended up with that 120 gallon, 600 and some dollar aquarium package from PetSmart. Uh, basically because they're awesome. So on December 23rd, I was living with my parents, we were doing our Christmas thing, and I got the notification that Corey went live, and a lot of you saw that PetSmart had that 75 gallon aquarium, aquarium ensemble deal for $169. And I was like, wow, that's a pretty good deal. And as luck would have it, I ended up getting it for Christmas. There's a family that overheard it. So boom, got it for Christmas. Okay, that was pretty cool. Went there Monday after Christmas, so the 26th, to pick it up. And it was the only one there, the last one left, and I was looking at it. And it's a marine land tank, which I don't trust. So I was looking at the seals, and wouldn't you know it, there was basically no sealant at all. Like when you're going into the corner here, okay, well, you can't really see it, but you couldn't feel any sealant at all it was just glass on glass basically and so I was kind of disappointed and I was you know I asked is there a different one no of course not then I asked if the if they had the Aquion 65 gallon aquarium aquarium ensemble that they had for sale for the same price and of course they were sold out of that because both were amazing deals and uh, I was like well do you, do you have anything in the back uh, you know being in retail for as long as I was I know that a lot of the times there's always something in the back and then the, the uh, store manager was like well 
I don't know if he was the store manager, maybe just the fish manager, but it's like it just so happens we have the 120 gallon aquarium ensemble in the back and we can't really sell it because of the damage to the stand. And you saw the damage. I mean, we're talking like a one inch gash that probably got hit with the forklift. And I was like, well, I don't care about the stand. And he's like, well, we really can't sell it because it can't be warrantied. We can't guarantee it. And I was like, I don't care about any of that stuff. Um, how much? And he was like, well, I don't really know how much it is. And so blah, blah, blah. We went through that process. He took me back to the warehouse. We took a look at it. Um, obviously I saw the blemish and I was like, yeah, now I really don't care. And so I was like, how about just an even swap? You take this defective Marine Land tank, even though to them it's not defective or to Marine Land, to me it's defective because that's not gonna last. And anyways, I was like, how about an even swap? Kind of as a joke. And he was like, okay, we can't do anything with it anyways. We can't send it back because it weighs 9,000 pounds and we can't sell it because we can't guarantee it. And they were like, as long as you know that we cannot return it if you buy it because of the stand. And I was like, no problem. Just, I loaded that thing up in my Jeep as fast as like we could and I wasn't prepared to take a five foot tank home and so the back of my Jeep wouldn't close and I, have no, I didn't have any tie downs with me so we actually took saran wrap and tied it down with saran wrap. I mean, just as ghetto as it can be and I'm just driving along holding this 120 gallon tank in one hand and driving it home and uh, yeah, so that was pretty awesome. A really good score. I mean that, you know, MSRP is like six something, but it's always on sale for four something. But to get to get that at $169 was just really awesome of them. Um, you know, I thanked them a ton. You know, it worked out well for both of us because they couldn't do anything with it. I could. It just so happens that this tank behind me, this 75 gallon tank, this wood stand that it's on is a five foot stand. It hangs out an extra foot over here. So, I mean, it was like a match made in heaven. I'm gonna basically take the fish out of this tank, take the fish out of this tank, move these Tanganyikans into this 75 gallon tank, move all these Malawi, Haps, and Mbunas mixed tank into this, which will be the 120 gallon tank. So they'll have a bigger tank. And uh, so that's gonna be a big project. But yeah, should be a lot of fun. Obviously, I'll get some good content out of it. Well, hopefully I get some good content out of it. But yeah, so that's my 120 gallon story. Um, you know, another great experience for me at, at that PetSmart. That specific PetSmart is really, really good to me. Um, you know, I, if, I, I went through over this all in my live stream, but you know, I know a lot of, a lot of people weren't there. But that PetSmart's been really good to me over the years. Uh, you know, when all this stuff went down with my dog, I had to get, I had to find new food, and they spent like an hour and a half with me going over every different type of dog food because I needed specific ingredients, and we were there reading the ingredients on every single brand, every single different type, and so they've always gone gone above and beyond for me. So nothing but nice things to say about them, and. I ended up with a pretty sweet deal. Now the tank is still Marine Land. I still don't trust it, but at that price, you gotta roll the dice. I haven't even taken it apart to look at the seams. Um, but heck, even if the seams are bad, you know, how about a paludarium? You know, it's just worth the price of the glass alone. So, and of course, it has the glass tops, the lights, which are garbage. Um, the stand, obviously, I won't use. So now I have that stand, I'll have the stand for the 125 gallon I'm not using. So maybe I can unload those on Craigslist, but yeah. So anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, the conclusion to that uh, 20 gallon stand, rack, whatever, should be Thursday, no, Friday. So tomorrow I'm live streaming again. Look for it, it'll be scheduled. When, once I get the time figured out, I'll have the conclusion, the finalized version of this rack on Friday, and then maybe a live stream on Saturday. I'm kind of I'm kind of working with with Corey on something that we might we might get together and do something. Uh, if not, then I'll probably live stream again on Saturday night. 
before LR Bretz's live stream, get a couple hours in there. But anyways, I've rambled long enough. So that's going to do it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment, a like, all that jazz. And I will see you guys for you tomorrow. It should be Thursday.